So Chris, thanks for spending some time with me today. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, so what do you do? Uh, I'm a Fort Worth firefighter. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, well, sir. on behalf of the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company, thanks for your service. Thank uh, you. What you do is important. What we do is uh, kind of fun and games, but um, really uh, admire you guys for everything you do. Well, thank you very much. So what's your history with Ben Hogan? Let's see, my first set of clubs were given to me were some Apex PCs. Mm. They weren't very nice, but you know they were mine. Right, right. Really cool. And I always uh, loved being able to look down and see the Hogan name, and from there, you know, I got eleven more sets of Hogans wow. up until now. Really? Yes, sir. That's awesome. And you've been happy with the performance through the years, and you're obviously uh, one of our great brand ambassadors. But uh, I mean, I, I, we're trying to maintain the legacy and the history of the Hogan brand obviously and um, you know product is always job number one two and three are you are you comfortable with what we're doing and absolutely um, what y'all have done has just been second to none I mean the clubs the performance everything y'all have done would make Mr. Hogan very proud well that's that's great to hear So Chris, you know, everybody's got, uh, especially folks here in Fort Worth, have a perception of, of Mr. Hogan and what he stood for and what his values were. You know, if I were to say to you, what, what does Mr. Hogan mean to you? How would you, how would you respond to that? Uh, probably tradition. The tradition that encompasses Mr. Hogan and his legacy, the man, the golfer, and the golf equipment is just it's what legends are made of mm -hmm. and that just encompasses everything with golf yep i agree okay. with you he's uh he was a special individual and you know we try to learn as much as we can from him and obviously we've got some folks that you've seen at the factory who worked with him directly and you know so we feel his legacy is alive and well even today in the office i mean we take uh take pride in the fact that uh, we have some some of his old furniture and, and furnishings and obviously a lot of photographs around and um, you know we, we continue to learn from his ways even even today. Tell me about your experience with the online buying process. It's been so easy uh, you know the way you have the demo program set up it it's easy. It makes ordering clubs online easy. Yeah, we find that a lot of our customers want to try before they buy. And, you know, given that we're not in retail and we don't go to demo days, you know, I think that the two club demo program works really well. I mean, it's a pretty low risk uh, uh, situation, you know, $20. And you get a few clubs to try for a few weeks. You try them on your range or you try them on your own golf course. And, you know, it's worked really well for us. Yeah, and if that's that anybody's thought to not try a club, you've definitely taken that out of their mind and make it easy. Yeah, very, very easily accessible. We've alleviated a lot of the risk. But what was your experience like when you actually had to go on to BenHoganGolf.com and buy clubs? Um, was it intimidating? Was it something you were comfortable with? You know, I'm sure you've bought a lot of product over the years off of Amazon or other manufacturers' websites. Is it a? Is it a? An easy process? It's a very easy process. It was easier dealing with Ben Hogan's website, getting what you want, and you know, much easier than buying off of a retail website. Good.